has always dreamed of flying like the birds, to fly far and high and free. And until a date just over 100 years ago, flying was limited to hot air balloons, gliders built of paper and wood, and a lot of experiments that didn't quite go as planned. But in 1903, Wilbur and Orville Wright made the first successful flight in a powered airplane, a flight that would change the world. Ever since then, there's been a race to fly higher, farther, and faster. They say necessity is the mother of invention, and aviation took its first big leap during World War I, as both sides tried to win air battles over Europe. Planes were made stronger and faster to try to survive dogfights in the sky. After the war, the race continued, going from cloth to metal bodies and inventing more reliable engines. In 1927, just 23 years after the Wright brothers, Charles Lindbergh became the first person to fly solo over the Atlantic Ocean, inspiring the world. One year later, the Spartan School of Aeronautics was founded to fill the growing need for skilled aircraft technicians and pilots. The first around-the-world flight came in 1931. Amelia Earhart was the darling of the news as she broke one women's flying record after another in the 1930s. War brought big advances to aviation again, and the 1940s saw the first use of radar, night vision, jet aircraft, and rockets. During World War II, Spartan trained 14,000 U.S., British, and other Allied pilots and technicians. In 1947, the Bell X-1 was the first plane to exceed the speed of sound at over 800 miles an hour. Passenger jetliners became the norm in the 1960s. In 1962, the X-15 was the first plane to reach the edge of outer space. And just 66 years after the Wright brothers, man set foot on the moon. In just the past few decades, inventors and technicians have designed and built planes that fly over 2,000 miles per hour, over 60 miles high, and that fly unmanned around the world without refueling. And now the first flying cars have been approved for production. Where do we go now? We're only limited by our imagination. These aircraft are being designed right now. Aircraft that will be part of your future. If you enjoy technology and design, facing big challenges and winning, and if you want a career that earns great respect and a good income, the future of aviation can be your future too.